Grade 6 Math, number 1.4, Order of Operations. When you were in fourth grade, we did order of operations with multiply, divide, add, and subtract. And then in fifth grade, we learned about parentheses. Well, now we're going to talk about parentheses and exponents with our order of operations. So a numerical expression is a math phrase that uses only numbers and operation symbols. These are examples of numerical expressions. 2 times 5 plus 3, 3 times 2 times 5, 3 to the second power plus 5. Those are all numerical expressions, okay? See how they've only got numbers and operation symbols? Well, we evaluate a numerical expression when we find its value. So to evaluate 3 to the second power plus 5, we'd find out what the answer is. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 5 is 14. So now we just evaluated that one. See? Sometimes the expression has more than one operation. When that happens, we have to follow the order of operations or we'll get a wrong answer. It's so important to follow it. The order of operations, also known as PEMDAS, is the first thing we do is everything that's in parentheses. Then, after that, we get the values of numbers with exponents. When that's done, we multiply and divide from left to right. After that's done, then we add and subtract from left to right. So we do parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract, and it spells PEMDAS. And a lot of people have been using, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally to remember PEMDAS, and they've been using it for decades, like many decades, like World War II even. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally has been around for a long time. So let's try this. Let's try writing this equation. Right before bedtime, Emma ate five cookies. All right, so we have five. She had already eaten three after lunch and after dinner, so three times two. Now, let's, if we just answer it, we get five plus three is eight times two. That means she ate 16 cookies? Wait a minute. She had five cookies, then she had three, and then she had three. Well, what happened? Well, we didn't do the order of operations. We were supposed to multiply before we added so we were supposed to do this before we added, okay? We put the parentheses around what's supposed to be done first, and we multiply before we add. We always do that, okay? 3 times 2 is 6, plus the 5. She had 11. Now, she didn't have 16 cookies like you would have thought she did. She had 11, which is still a lot of cookies, but it's better than 16, right? So see what happens just because we didn't put parentheses around that, and we added before we multiplied, which is a no-no. You're supposed to multiply first. All right, so now I'm going to show you what happens with and without PEMDAS, okay? So here is the exact same problem, 6 to the second power minus 2 to the third power plus 8, okay? So here's without PEMDAS. We're just going to go straight across, like most people would, all right? So 6 to the second power is 6 times 6. That's 36. We need to take away 2 times 2 times 2, right? So we opened it all up. Here's our 2 times 2 times 2 plus the 8. So now we've got 36, and we've got to take away the 2. That's 34. Now we need to multiply that by 2. 34 times 2 is 68. Now we need to multiply that by 2. 68 times 2 is 136. Now we have to add the 8. We add the 8, and we have 144. So by going straight across, we get 144. Now what happens if we use PEMDAS? Well, we did what was in the parentheses first, and we did the exponents before that. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. Now we do what's outside of here. And we've got 36 minus 16, which is 20, which is a lot different than 144. Look at how wrong it was, all right? Now I'm going to show you another one. 
we've got 5 to the third power minus 10 to the second power plus 5 to the second power. So we're just going to go straight across. We opened it all up, 5 times 5 times 5 minus 10 times 10 plus 5 times 5. And we're just going to go straight across and see what happens. All right? So we'll do the first two. 5 times 5 is 25. And we multiply that by 5 and we get 125. Now we have to subtract 10 and we get 115. Okay? 125 minus 10 is 115. Now we have to multiply that by 10. Well, whenever you multiply anything by 10, you just add a zero onto the back of it. So instead of 115, we have 1,150. Now we have to add the 5. So we have 1,155, and now we have to multiply that by 5. We do. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 5 is 25. 26, 27. Carry the 2. Put the 7 down. 5 times 1 is 5, 6, 7, and then 5 times 1 is 5. Oh, our answer is 5,775, right? Actually, the answer is 0. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, okay? 10 times 10 is 100, and we do in the parentheses first 100 plus 5 squared is 25, 100 plus 25 is 125, and we've got 125 minus 125, which is 0. What a huge difference. 5,775? We did it together. That's what happens when you go straight across. Oh my gosh, please use PEMDAS. You'll get everything marked wrong if you don't, okay? So, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay? You do that, you'll be home free, you'll get better grades, and I will be immensely proud of you, and we'll be able to move on to bigger and greater things in math. See you next video. Bye.